speaking of SMGs, I got a really good one you probably didn't even know existed. And I'm running it in a way you probably wouldn't expect. Let's go. <laughs> This is the M1928 SMG, and I'm going to show you why it's good. Ooh, look at this. A whole team of people coming out. You are now up to speed. All right, let's clean house. Well, look at her thinking she's sneaky. Just hit over a million right there. So yeah, like I have a soft spot for SMGs. Um, back in season, I don't know, it was like, or title update around like nine or 10. It was all I was running is SMGs. And then eventually I discovered the M1928 and it was sort of like way down the road and I had been deleting it for my stash for like ever. And when I tried it, I can't remember why I tried it, but when I did, I was absolutely dumbfounded. I was like, I can't believe I've been trashing this gun for so long. <laughs> it's really good. But yeah, you know, it's just, it's atypical. You know, it's super off meta, but it's amazing. It's like similar in concept to running like the TKB or AK-47, but in the SMG category. And if you've been following my channel for a while, then you probably are aware that I got, I put out a series or I did a whole live stream um, saying that basically uh, if it's made out of wood, it's probably good in the division two. And if you uh, think about it, like we got the Baker's dozen, you have the White Death, I mean, very good weapons in the wood series, right? AK-47, TKB, all made of wood. And so if you see a weapon made of wood, don't walk by it. It's probably worth at least you giving it a try. I'm sure there's some exceptions out there, but ooh, gonna, an invited party here. Yeah, but this one plays a little bit differently. And so uh, I was showcasing it in the live stream over the weekend. And somebody had made a really good suggestion. And so one of the things that makes this weapon stand out is, is how um, straight it shoots. It's got a little bit different fire pattern and recoil pattern enough to uh, give you more accuracy or more shots on target so you can reach a little bit further. And further meaning like, you know, five, 10 meters not much further than that and then somebody on the stream recommended and it was a really good recommendation they were saying hey why don't you try outsider as a talent maybe it'll work for that and i'm actually not a big fan of outsider and normally skip that talent and i know a lot of people actually enjoy it i was like you know what it absolutely makes perfect sense in this for this smg it gave it a whirl and extremely happy on how it performed because basically what we're doing here is leaning into what makes the smg different you know, it's sort of like putting more speed on a fast SMG, for example, right? Like, so it's like running Striker or Umbra with the Vector, you know, just kind of in, uh, going all in on that speed if it's working for you, right? And with this one, what's working, what's part of what's working for you is a high base weapon damage. That's part of it, a big part of it. It's got a huge weapon damage. And then the stability on the weapon allows you to land a lot of headshots, a lot of shots on target and on the head at deeper distance than what you're accustomed to doing with an SMG. And so by running Outsider, I basically lean into that and, and I'm doubling it because Outsider gives us that 100% capability. 100% optimal range and accuracy as well. So you're not missing all those shots at that range. I mean, you're still going to get misses, but we're hitting over a million here, which is pretty good for any SMG, I got to say. So you're just chewing through enemies. Quick break to talk about the build, walk you through it, and then we'll get back into some more gameplay and talk some shop. So we're hitting over 1.3 million with this setup. 
and we're running 1.3 million armor. So quite impressive. And what's more impressive is we have an SMG that's not running a damage talent. So all those things are in this and we're just crushing content. Okay, let's start with the SMG. So the M1928 only has one mod, but extremely high base weapon damage at 162,000 on my setup. I'm running a bunch of armor, so keep that in mind. It's got 690 RPM. That's with the striker buff, 50 rounds in the mag. That's nice. A lot of SMGs have a little bit less than that, like around the 45 range. So 50 rounds is nice. SMG damage, crit chance, damage to targets out of cover. And then we're running outsider. Because this SMG performs really well at range, it shoots sort of straighter. I'm not sure the damage drop off graph is really capturing that but maybe it is anyways it's got a gentle slope and damage drop off so that's also a good thing but either way i can reach further and land more shots on the head with this smg than i can with a lot of other smgs and so we're running outsider so after killing an enemy gain 100 percent optimal range and 100 percent accuracy for 10 seconds now what's really cool about that so the little icon for when outsider is active is on the little window next to the smg so look out for that during the gameplay but what's really neat about Outsider, not every talent can do this, but it's refreshable. So every every kill refreshes that 10 seconds. And so you can maintain it a lot. And when you don't have it, it's not like your damage drops off. It doesn't. You feel really good, just as powerful. So you're just, you're still hitting 1.3 million with or without Outsider. It just allows you to take on the enemy and reach him further and kill him before you even get inside the kill box many, many times. So really, really cool talent. We have the luxury to run that talent because the weapon has such a great base damage but more important than that the weapon does a very good job at staggering and we're going to talk about that a little bit here in a minute during the gameplay but the staggering part of any weapon is going to greatly increase your odds of surviving out of cover and so that's important and it's also going to eliminate a lot of that micro damage that you take so we talk about micro damage in this game a lot but the micro damage is that little bit of damage that you take at each kill what happens is that so you start shooting the enemy and then they'll and you kill them but during the process maybe they got a one or two shots off or you took some shots from his from his best friend so that just starts nicking at you over time and then eventually it can catch up and get you killed or you have to stop and heal and that can slow you down or also get you killed because our armor kits take like two hours to apply apparently the staggering is important and you'll notice that some of your favorite weapons stagger and this one does and that's a very big deal and which is one of the reasons why i'm not running hunter's fury because the weapon staggers so well i don't need some of those things that come with hunter's fury the rpm's 690 so again that's getting a 15 percent buff from striker which is fine but we want the low rpms we like the low rpms we like them because that allows you to gain control over your weapon and focus in on the hitbox of your choice i.e the head and land more of those shots without wasting your mag. You basically leads to a faster time to kill because your shots on target are hitting a more critical point, right? The, you'll notice like with faster SMGs, like the Vector, you're you're pretty much better off. You'll get some lots of headshots in there too, but you're better off hitting in the upper hitbox of the torso. And that's because the weapon is so fast that even if you miss for um, a microsecond, a split second, that's a lot of your mag gone because the weapon is just so fast. I find, at least in my gameplay, that I'll aim for the upper torso and then kind of work my way up to the head and i do that even with this weapon but i i can move to the head faster and that's the difference without losing rounds without throwing in all this extra reloading and so i could kill several enemies several elite enemies in a single mag with this at least two so two second reload so good weapon really good weapon so this is one to definitely run i hope really hope you try it out for the secondary weapon i'm running the rock and roll this is the acs shotgun the name version you don't have to have the name version so just run whatever I have crits on mine and damage the targets out of cover, but this gives you 50% magazine capacity on this weapon. So really helpful for building your stacks. I use it from time to time to kick off the fight, usually. Striker, nothing special about this. The way I'm running is pretty typical. So we got weapon handling, rate of fire, and 100 stacks of amp damage, and then weapon damage and crits. On the gloves, I have weapon damage and crit chance. On the knees, I have armor and crit damage. And on the, the holster is armor on crit damage. That pushes this to a total of 1.3 million, including the backpack. Hey banditos, the community we have built together wouldn't have been possible without you. So as a thank you for supporting my channel, I am bringing you the hookup on member perks. 
including even more Division 2 content and the celebrated gaming music playlists. If you're not part of Texas Players Club, now is your chance. The chess piece is Cheska with weapon damage and crits throughout, and I'm running Obliterate. You have some options here, but just leaning into Obliterate because I found that with this weapon, I was able to maintain it better than a lot of other SMGs because I was able to reach out further before it fully expired in some instances. All right, I'm running the Memento, and I really think it's a good idea to run bonus armor with your out of cover SMG builds. The Memento provides that, stacks that. So we get 10% bonus armor for 10 seconds for every blue core. And we're running three blue cores, so that's 30% bonus armor. And that's why I have no armor on kill on this build because we're getting 30% bonus armor on kill. That lasts 10 seconds and 10 seconds is plenty because even your white armor only lasts 10 seconds when you're playing out of cover because the enemies are shooting you. So you're gonna lose it anyways. So I got uh, the three cores of course and then we're gonna have 5% weapon damage per red core and we have four of those. So that's 20% weapon damage buff when we grab that trophy plus the additive 30% weapon damage when we have full stacks. Then we're going to get the 3% armor regen. So that's healing me underneath the bonus armor, which is why I don't need actual armor on kill. And then I have skill efficiency helping our skills. I'm running the decoy, which I recommend, but you can also run the fixer or the reviver if you feel like you need that. Then the striker. So so really cool shield. The striker shield is the, probably the best shield in the game. You got uh, damage bonuses coming out of this. That's what I have the mod set to with active regen. And so basically I'm getting 13% damage bonus per enemy standing in front of me. And the shield has a value of 3.3 million health. And that's a tier four shield. So we have tier four because we have three blue cores and one skill tier. So pretty powerful. You have to run firewall to get this. And that's why I'm running it for amazing damage because I feel like I have enough heals with the bonus armor and the regen. But if you feel like you need gunner for 10% armor on kill, do it. You're not going to miss any damage from changing out of this shield. You should be hitting more than 1.1 million with gunner as well. So looking at the crits, we're right on the edge of peaking crit chance at 59%, 117% crit hit damage. And defense, you can see we have 1.3 million armor and the armor regen isn't showing up here, but we do have 3% when we're fully stacked. Yeah, so when I was running this SMG over the, again over the weekend, I was like, Oh yeah, I remember you. Super fun, really. And I, you know, I've run this SMG on a lot of different set setups. Uh, of course, you can go with the traditional Hunter's Fury, but you, like I said earlier, Strikers really again leans into what makes what sets this one apart, and that's its range, right? Because um, the Memento really gives you all the all the damage protection that you need all the resistance that you need because of its bonus armor but you know hunter's fury's 20 percent armor on kill is also cool too but the bonus armor is a little bit more proactive in protecting you obviously you got to get a kill to earn that proactiveness but you get a kill and then it sets you up to be more successful on the next kill and hunter's fury sort of also but it's more based on confidence obviously it's amazing an amazing set and one of my favorites use it all the time but I find myself lately uh, for SMGs actually preferring um, Striker on most of my SMG builds nowadays. I, th I think the handling is nice. And then the uh, speed boost is also kind of a fun little add. But that's because I sort of don't need all the perks that Hunter's Fury gives me on SMGs. Now for shotguns, it's different. For shotguns, I uh, absolutely prefer hunter's fury on most of those uh this big boss and his stupid grenades see a big boy blowing yourself up first mistake is you were ugly First mistake is he came out here with that big old suit, making him a giant target, right? So Hunter's Fury is always a really good option. But anyways, you know, looking for that synergy and, you know, what makes a weapon different or what makes it good is that what separates it from the pack. And if you can lean into that, like we're doing here uh, from two different sides, then you can have something pretty special, pretty fun to run. And so, yeah, so the Strikers is giving us the weapon handling, again, helping us land more shots at those uh, deeper distances, which is longer than what you're used to doing with SMGs. 
and then outsiders giving us that 100 distance and then accuracy too i mean just what a combo not to mention a nice little uh, boost to rpms and so right there in a million to the head a little bit deeper than what you like so when you use this you'll find that it feels like you're running an, an assault rifle and of course smg's one of the uh perks that they give you is the lift on crit chance right because they come with a high rate of crit chance at their at its base attribute but still you know smg's aren't for everybody they're not the easiest thing to run uh because they require you to play you know close distances that you might find could get you in trouble right so you got to be fast you got to know who's kind of behind you be aware who's ahead of you and how much pain you can take what enemy you can step in front of them not worry about breaking your shield but a lot of my success is flanking patterns i like sort of how i walk the perimeter or sort of looks like i'm taking the long way around and what i'm doing is avoiding micro damage or damage from distance or damage on approach I'm avoiding that uh, because that's SMG's largest, greatest weakness is uh, damage from distance, damage on approach. So I try to get as close to the spawn points as possible. And throughout the control point, I try to s predict the spawn points or meet them there as soon as possible. Million 92. So yeah, besides taking damage from distance, your other greatest weakness with SMG's is taking damage from behind. And so avoiding that, isn't so easy whether you're aware of the, the target being behind you or not and so that's why bonus armor really it's the best play for smgs even more than the shield so it doesn't matter how fast your time to kill is you know taking shots from the uh, backside is is just gonna hurt and you can't fight on two fronts And then from there, situational awareness. Making sure we meet them where they spawn is a great part of the, your success uh, because then they don't get a set up, get in cover, let alone do damage to you. Boom, 1.3. It's all memento right there. Because remember, you get the memento stacks. And so when you catch them out of the, uh, at the door, when you spawn kill them, I don't know if you noticed, but the trophies get automatically placed on you. You don't have to go pick them up. So not that you need an additional perk for taking out bosses at the spawn, but there you go. There's another one. A little kicker. Worrying about loss of damage. And that's what's really cool about selecting weapons that have really good. Hey, dear. And that's why I like running. Ooh, look at this. A whole team of people coming out. Just wailing on my shield there, huh? Yeah, and so that's why I run like you see me playing a lot with like pretty heavy duty weapons. So I use the 1886, also made of wood, a lot. Yeah, I use the Regulus, not as much as I want to because I know a lot of you guys don't have it, so I don't showcase it too much, but I love that gun. One of my favorites in the game, made of wood. Anyways, these are all high base weapons, uh, high base damage weapons, and it allows me to, because I'm starting with such good damage, it allows me to start rolling other attributes that might help me play uh, better or faster, clear more content quickly. So one of the big advantages there for sure. So along with that, as we were talking about uh, in one of the streams the other day, I hope you join us in those for those live streams. We have a lot of really good conversations, a lot of good stuff comes out of those um but we were talking about staggering and how important it is and that's what this weapon does really well too and so you'll find like uh god i really like this weapon i survive with it i perform really well with it like if you look closely your weapon probably does there's a fair chance that it does a great job at staggering see like that and so that prevents them from shooting at you, right? So staggered him twice. That's a boss. 
So I really hope you give this one a try. It's a lot of fun. Remember to try new things. You might be surprised what you discover. Hey, by the way, speaking of weapons that you haven't tried, make sure you check out this build I did for the ACRE. Talk about not missing a shot. Follow me. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.